This is the comparison of the EuroArms 2 bender field with the new Pedersoli 2 bender. You can see the EuroArms version above and the Pedersoli below. The first big difference visible is the wood. The EuroArms version is manufactured from some kind of African wood, while the Pedersoli version is manufactured from traditional oiled walnut. There are differences between the two locks as well. The size and the shape of the EuroArms version is different from the original and from the Pedersoli version. You can easily see the size and shape differences here. There are size, shape and engraving differences between the hammers as well. The lock of the EuroArms version is marked London Armory Company, while the lock of the Pedersoli version is marked 1861 Tower. The size and the angle of the butt plate is different also. The drop of the stock at the bottom is about 1 cm bigger with the Pedersoli version than with the Eurams version, so it's much easier to make a side picture with the Pedersoli gun. It is easy to see the difference if you put both guns on a table. The placement of the locks is different as well. The size and the shape of the comb is different as well. The new Pedersoli version has smoother edges and its shape is closer to the original. The finishing of the trigger and the trigger guard is much higher quality with the Pedersoli version. Take a closer look and see the difference between the two finishing jobs. The placement of the rear sights is different as well. The Pedersoli rear sight is about half centimeter from the barrel band. The barrel bands of the Pedersoli version are black, while with the Eurams version they are case hardened. There are quality, size and shape differences between the two rear sights as well. This is the Pedersoli version and this rough one is the Eurams version. The shape and size of the Pedersoli stock is much closer to the original. The Eurams version has much more wood with sharp edges, while the Pedersoli version is rounded with a slimmer, elegant look. Thanks to the traditional walnut material, the accurate copying of the original stock and the swan barrel, the weight of the Pedersoli version is only 3600 grams. While the weight of the Eurams Repro is more than 600 grams more, 4,225 grams. There is a difference between the outer diameter of the bores. The Pedersoli version is swamped, while the Euro arms is nearly parallel. The placement of the bayonet locking stud is different as well. The muzzle crown of the Pedersoli version, seen on the left, recreates the original pattern. This is the rifling of the Eurams version. You can see it has five grooves, its twist rate is 1 in 66 inches, and the lens are nearly twice as big as the grooves. You can see the rifling of the Pedersoli version here. It has five grooves with even lens and even grooves, while the twist rate is 1 in 48 inches. A really close copy of the original. There are plenty of differences in the woodwork as well at the breech area. This is Eurarms. This is Pedersoli. Eurarms. Pedersoli. The Pedersoli version has periodically correct markings, so you don't have to defarb this rifle. The Pedersoli lock plate nuts are a close copy of the original, while the Eurarms version has fantasy shapes. The shape of the Pedersoli rear bar and band is accurate, while the Eurams version has nothing to do with the original. The front band of the Pedersoli version is black, while it is case hardened on the Eurams version. The Pedersoli sling swivel is accurate, while the Eurams has fantasy shape as well.
You can clearly see the difference between the bore outer diameters if you look at the rifle from the front. Right is Peder Soli, left is Euro Arms. Here is the muzzle crown from the different angle. Right is Peder Soli, left is Euro Arms.